the Nero maker is a machine um, or a process which creates an output based on your brain input. It senses the neural activity in your brain and this activity is registered in form of numbers and these numbers can be transferred into any kind of shape. All you have to do is just to create the algorithm which is necessary to confine it in one area. So what the NeuroMaker does, it takes this information and runs it every time through the same algorithm but it always has a different outcome. So the NeuroMaker creates a drawing based on your thought output. So whatever you think in this moment or whatever you are feeling or whatever your state of mind is, is directly connected to this drawing. And by turning these drawings into a physical object, we are creating a valuable memory for people, which they can put on their wall or they can hang it somewhere and uh, they can look at it and they are always connected to that but nobody else knows what it means. So there is always a little bit of a mystery. So my project is, it functions on different levels. Uh, for one thing, for me it is an experiment um, because I wanted to take this opportunity which I had here to test out a process which I came up with just for this space. And on the other hand, it's also a product, because the way I designed it, this machine could also be itself and stand somewhere else and be, uh, be used by regular people. This process allows people to generate drawings based on their thoughts, and that is a very powerful process which then creates very intimate products. It started all with a meeting with Bob and Ellen at NCSA and we were talking about crazy things we could do. So Alan Craig came up with the idea that I should connect a brain to a CNC router and uh, uh, I take, took this idea further and combined with my experience in personal fabrication we cr came up with the NeuroMaker. I heard about the NCSA uh, because I asked Alan what he was doing and he said he's working at the center for National Center for Supercomputing Applications, uh, which sounds very cool. And um, since I'm always looking to incorporate other areas outside of product design into projects, and I'm all really interested in um, the people I design for, so we looked at how, you know, how could the NCSA and industrial design work together. So, and this is a result of this cooperation. I think the mix between uh, science and design is great. I think that designers can utilize all the output from science to incorporate into, into products which actually make people's lives better or different. Or I think we can take um, the output from science and I think scientists can profit from designers because um, designers have a wide angle on things while scientists are always looking at very small details and designers can, can think of a thousand possibilities if you give them something small or a small scientific breakthrough they can think about how could you use it.